but it's going to be very slow. It's not like we're going to see this ship just tip up in a matter of minutes. It's going to take about 12 hours, they tell us. And during that time, we may not see a lot of movement. There is a line where the ship has been underwater for 20 months that we'll be able to see sort of move its way up. But again, it's going to be a very slow process because it is really an unprecedented uh, 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 salvage operation. Nothing like this has ever been done before with a ship this size. You know, without exception, these ships are blown up or dismantled on the scene. And the fact that this ship, 114,000 tons, is going to be rotated or parbuckled is what they call it, is it has never been done before. So as a result of that, they're taking their time. They're going very slowly. It's a very measured, very, very very technical uh, operation and they don't want to make any mistakes, Rosemary. And it's interesting, I mean, Barbie, it's never been done before, but they don't have a plan B, so they must have a lot of faith in this uh, plan working. Well, that's right, but the reason really they don't have a plan B is if something goes wrong, it goes desperately wrong. That means either the ship breaks apart, it means the platforms that are 30 meters below the water somehow give way. If something goes wrong, there's going to be a different ship that they've got to deal with at the end of this operation. It's not that they can start and say, wait, wait, this isn't working and, and put the ship back down on the rocks. It's just too big. So they've got to do what they can do. At a certain point, though, four or five hours into this operation, gravity will take over, and the ship will essentially sort of right itself at the end of it. There are uh, flotation containers, buoyancy containers called sponsons that are big boxes attached to the port side of the ship that will fill with water and sort of uh, help control the movement as they can no longer control it. They'll be able to, to control the buoyancy in those containers, but really, it, it, at a certain point, the ship, you know, rights itself, and that's because it's just so big and, and, and so heavy, and gravity, gravity wins at the end of the day, Rosemary. Yeah, and Barbie, why did they choose this path? This, uh, this path that hasn't been done before when in the past they've just really cut down the scrap metal there and then and divided it up where, where it sits there. Why, why did they choose to, to follow this plan? Well, the reason they're rotating it and they're power buckling it, it, there are a couple of reasons. First and foremost, because that ship is full of to toxins. It was, uh, you know, a floating city, if you will. There are four, over 4,000 people for seven days were going to be living on that ship. There are thousands of liters of chemicals and paint and, and cleaning supplies and paint thinners and things like that on the ship right now. There's also food uh, and cooking supplies that, that, that are not going to dissolve in the water. So they can't just start taking that ship apart to let all of that, those toxins out into the water. This is a protected marine area, and they've got to be very careful. They couldn't blow it up either. It's just, it's got too much stuff in it. You know, we were told that if they would have detonated the ship, you'd see flying mattresses and knives and forks and all the things that are on a cruise ship flying out of it. They couldn't take those uh, materials off the ship because it's in such a perilous uh, angle. They can't go in and take, the, take everything out of it. So really the only thing they can do is try to rotate it, uh, and then they're going to have to fix the broken side, the starboard side, uh, that, that has been on these rocks, almost melded onto these two underwater mountaintops for the last 20 months. They have to fix the broken side and put flotation boxes on that side. And then sometime next spring, they're going to refloat it. It's important to know when they, when they re rotate the ship, it's going to be more underwater than it is right now. So it, it'll be an interesting process as, as they move forward.